Today we have David Prentice, the Managing Director of Brookside Energy here with us to give us a business update on the company. Hey David, the current market is a sea of red, leaving many investors trying hard to find opportunities in the market. So the oil and gas sector seems to be counter trend with oil breaking above $120 USD per barrel again and US natural gas hitting all time highs uh, before the temporary disruption to the LNG facility in Texas. So this makes uh, Brookside actually a beneficiary to current trends. We note that in today's announcement, uh, Brookside Energy is progressing on schedule with getting its Flames Well online. Could you share more about what Flame Well is and what can investors expect from it in the next few months? Sure, Cyprus, and nice to speak to you today. Um, so as you say, the macro picture looks very strong for the company and uh, it's nice to be delivering up, um, you know, this flush production from both, uh, you know, from the range, our range as well and, uh, and soon from our flames well. So um, very exciting time for the, for the business. Um, you know, in terms of the flames well, um, we've just started the multi-stage um, completion of that, uh, of, that, of that well and we expect probably early July we'll uh, commence flowback. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, our expectations from a production point of view, um, you know, somewhere north of 1,500 BOE a day would be, uh, you know, would be a great outcome. Um, and, um, but to put that into context, there's several wells within close proximity that have done, uh, you know, quite a bit better than that uh, in terms of the, uh, you know, in terms of the initial production rate, uh, bearing in mind that, uh, you know, it's the first, you know, six to 12 months of production that are more important from a, you know, reserve value and cash flow point of view than, than necessarily the, just the initial production rate. But that, they're, they're, they're the kind of numbers that we would be uh, looking for out of, uh, out of flames. Great. Thanks, David. And maybe you could share about what is planned for the full year and how is Brookside Energy progressing along? Yeah, so look, I think, um, you know, the completion and flowback of the uh, Flames well is, you know, a, a pretty significant milestone in terms of, uh, you know, the business and, uh, and you know, valuation uh, point for the business. You know, the, the successful flowback uh, and, 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 you know, turning that well to production is, is the last well in our held by production um, program. And, you know, that has uh, strong implications for valuation because once the acreage is held by production, it proves up that large inventory of, of very high return, low risk uh, proved undeveloped wells that we can develop over the next four or five years. So having these three wells down and producing is a very strong milestone for the business. And then as soon as we have, uh, you know, those three down, we'll move into the back half of this year. We've got two more wells planned uh, to be drilled in this calendar year and we're quite advanced already with the uh, scheduling and planning for, uh, for those next two wells. Yeah, just being on the sideline, David, we also noted that one of the largest oil and gas producer in the US and also a neighbor of yours, Continental Resources, gotten a buyout offer last night by its largest shareholder and chairman, Harold Ham, for a whooping 25.4 billion USD. Could you share more about your thoughts on it and how it may affect Brookside Energy? Yeah, so look, it's a it's a very strong um, data point for us in terms of establishing the valuation for for our business in the uh, in the marketplace. I guess, um, you know, Continental, the largest operator in the Anadarko Basin, very active in Southern Scoop, where our Swish AOI is. They have something like five rigs running in that, in that area, and you know, this takeover offer you know values the company at uh, somewhere between sort of 72 to 95,000 dollars per flowing barrel of oil equivalent and you know if you sort of do the numbers on our, our current production and our and our forecast production uh, you know for year end you know that that's going to support a market capitalization of in excess of 250 million uh, or more, um, you know, as, as we start to, to see this production growth coming through. So very exciting uh, uh, data point in, you know, uh, to, uh, for, for the business. Definitely sounds so to me as well. I also noticed that, you know, Continental 
sources has been mopping up acreage and producing assets in your surrounding area. So there may be a possibility that Bookside is on their radar and a similar offer might come your way? Yeah, so look, you know, n n not uh, to speculate about uh, about offers that we might or may or may not receive, but I mean, I guess what I would say about that is that, you know, there are several, um, you know, large um, New York Stock Exchange listed EMP companies that are very active in that Southern Scoop area. And we would be, you know, our acreage position would certainly be on the radar of all of those groups, you know, that we've seen over the last couple of years, uh, significant rationalisation in the area. We've seen, you know, Continental being very aggressive in terms of mopping up acreage in, in and around our area. And we've also seen, you know, significant activity from some of the other guys as well. So, you know, we will certainly be on their radar and, uh, and you know, our, our acreage position is uh, right in the core of the, of the uh, you know, some of the best rock in that Southern Scoop area. So, uh, you know, wouldn't be surprised at all if, uh, you know, if, if people are running the ruler over, over our acreage position. Thanks, David. That sounds really interesting and promising for Bookside. You guys are in the right spot at current times. Thank you, David, for sharing with us some valuable insights today. Looking forward to speak to you again. Bye. Thanks very much, Cyprus. Bye-bye.